So I'm going to begin about this concept of institutional corruption. We have power because there are more than 3.2 million people who are willing to pay us hundreds of millions of dollars in dues each year because they believe that we are the unions that can most effectively represent them. Over 80% of our costs are in personnel, and hopefully the teachers union realizes that when they start to negotiate the next contract. It is not granted because we care about children. Corrupting. NEA and its affiliates are affected because we have tangling. Hundreds of millions of dollars in power. Shaking. It is not because we have a vision of a great public school for every child. We are the union. We are the union. The result was national agenda too often skewed in favor of those with the power to tell me because we have power. Institutional corruption. Dozens of school districts around Wisconsin canceled classes Thursday after hundreds of teachers called in sick to attend union protests in Madison. This is how it should have been all the other days, and it was, and it's very exciting. It's sad for our kids, but it's good for the teachers. Are you signing, are you signing doctor's notes? Yeah. Uh, yes, I am. Is, do you have any problem with having people lie? work to protest. You don't have a problem with this? Please get out of my way. You, you don't have any problem with this, ma'am? Some of the doctors who were writing sick notes to union workers protesting in Wisconsin are now being investigated. Our teachers brought us here today. For what? What are you, are you guys protesting? You know, I don't really know. I guess we're protesting today. Um, we're trying to stop whatever this dude is doing. Millions of dollars in these senators, the missing 14, have been found. They have been located. Leaving right now to do my job in Wisconsin. Why didn't you do it earlier today, sir? But you didn't. You didn't. You were supposed to be on the House to at least be on the House floor to allow them to have a vote. You didn't do it. Why not? Because we have I'm not so sure that's my job today. My job today is to delay uh, a vote on peace legislation. People in the state have said we, we have not union. had time we to the union. The what's, your, what's your position there, sir, in the Senate? Sir, let's get what's going. your position? In, why did you flee the state, sir? Why did you flee the state of Wisconsin so you wouldn't have to do your job, sir? Hundreds of millions of dollars in system of dependency where the special interests indirectly through the lobbyists control members producing this marionette congress a system of dependence upon the lobbyist fundraisers these senators the missing 14 have been found they have been located and now they're using their vacation to fundraise out of state so do we have root here NEA and its affiliates are effective because we have power. Do we have a sense of exactly what's behind this craziness? Hundreds of millions of dollars in power. Well, in my view, the only way to strike at this route is to cut the connection between these funders and our government. And the only way to do that is to embrace the idea of a Republican. The funders not the people. Hundreds of millions of dollars in power. And respond in the way our framers intended, with a movement, a citizens movement that starts in the states, that starts in this city, to strike at the root to this problem. The trees will crash. The union. Corruption will collapse. The union. Will crash. The union. Corruption will collapse. The union. The taproot will die. When it comes time to vote for our legislatures and legislators and governors. In 2010, one public teacher union spent $2,143,588 to lobby Wisconsin senators, four times more than the nearest corporate interest. Public unions lobbied in order to block local government ability to make budget cuts by arbitration through collective bargaining laws. The people of Wisconsin, 
democratically elected representatives, and a governor not corrupted by the public unions, to limit collective bargaining arbitration, allow public workers the choice to be in a public union, and reduce pension and benefits by 5%. These actions cut the root of the corruption, the flow of public funds to public unions, letting the funds flow to public workers and local governments, where they belong, because our constitution begins with, we the people, not we the public unions. And respond in the way our framers intended, with a movement, a citizen's movement that starts in the state to strike at the roots to this